I am Dooms Vince, and this is day nine of Spawn Year. Neil Gaiman really classes this book up with a single issue and packs it full of extremely cool things for McFarlane to draw, like a medieval knight spawn riding a horse and an angel with a huge death stick with ribbons all over it. By opening with this flashback, a lot is cleared up about the mythos of Spawn, that there seem to have been many before Al, the rules about draining power have remained the same, and that angels don't just protect humans, but are scantily clad hunters, some of whom kill spawns. And judging by how much Angela seems to enjoy it, perhaps at least partially for sport, this gives the impression that there may be some ambiguity to the assumed pure good and pure evil of heaven and hell. It's also a great way to establish the character of Angela, giving an example of a spawn she's killed in the past and showing that she's been at this a long time. I love all the information about how angels hunt and what their strategies and rules are. I also see the medieval Spawn making some of Al's mistakes, being new to Spawnhood, and I wonder how Al has any chance against Angela seeing this guy go down so fast. It's probably not good that nine issues in, I don't have more faith in the protagonist. But when the issue moves into present day, I feel justified in my doubts. Spawn meets an old homeless man in the alley, Cogliostro who keeps telling him he's not very bright, and actually calls him on something I found really silly reading it. Cogliostro immediately reveals knowledge about Spawn's costume. But Spawn isn't phased until the old man calls him by his real name, Al Simmons. And later, when Spawn survives a surreal and incomprehensible fight with Angela, completely by accident, she flees and leaves her staff behind. And Spawn has a ridiculous cartoon moment, where he says, What is it? What does it do? and presses the button on the side of the staff, despite Cogliostro's warnings not to touch it. At least the book seems to know he's slow on the uptake, but why? With all this impulsive lack of strategy, how is Al such an effective mercenary, and why does Malbolgia want him so bad? It feels less than thought out, like the story really needs Spawn to get teleported somewhere by the stick, and the easiest way to get him there is to let him impulsively do obviously stupid things. It's rarely a good idea to make the hero as a moron a major plot point. This is not the tick. It's hard to imagine Neil Gaiman wrote this section. The medieval Spawn flashback feels like his work, but this part feels like McFarlane. The angels are really fascinating, though. I love that some of them work in an office building with crosses on top, and unless I'm mistaken, it appears to be right in the middle of the city. I wonder what regular people think goes on in that building. Last issue, it was said that hell is a business. Heaven seems to be similar. More ambiguity. I'm intrigued. I also have to mention the stunning pinup of Angela drawn by the always dynamic Jim Lee. I poked fun of the Spawnmobile posters, but these extras, I'm sure, really made readers feel like they were getting more bang for their buck, and they give me things to look at while I'm sitting around in this graveyard waiting for the time when I have to read the next inevitable issue. I just noticed this rather conspicuous button on the back of one of these tombstones. Nice try, Dooms Vince. I'm not pushing that. Signed, Captain Logan. <laughs> 